forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The fifth petition of the Lord's Prayer is another perfect example of the answered promise of God and reminder to us of His work. It's a reminder to us of the fourth petition also that He gives us each day our daily bread, not because we deserve it or because we are worthy of it, but because of His grace. He hears and he answers our prayer, not because of who we are, but because of who he is. Because he is our true, dear, beloved father, and we are his true, dear, beloved children, God forgives. A prayer is heard and is answered. Not because we're worthy, not because we did it at the right time, in the right place, not because we do it with the right words or with the right tempo, not because we fold our hands or we overlap one or the other or we don't overlap them at all. No, but because of Him, because He is our Father, because He is gracious and merciful to us, because He has given His Son to die for us, we can know that God forgives us our sins always. That there is no doubt on whether or not our sins are forgiven. There is no doubt on whether or not Jesus died on that cross. There is no doubt whether or not Jesus rose from the dead. He lives and reigns forever. There is no doubt that your pastor has taken water and splashed it over your head to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. There is no doubt when we take that bread and wine that is his body and blood that it is given and shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. There is no doubt that God forgives you your trespasses daily. Each day we live in his forgiveness, not because of who we are, but because of what he has done because of his cross, because of his grace, because of his mercy. He forgives. He sets us free from our sins abundantly. We pray in this petition that he would help us to do the same. He does not have to change. His forgiveness does not have to change. But we pray that he would help us to do and to be as gracious as he is. Another example of how prayer is not to change the mind and the will of God, but to change us, to help us put our trust and faith in his promises that we would forgive just as we have been forgiven through Jesus. Amen.